app development or web development. Let's see who wins. I created a full version of Minecraft just by using HTML, CSS and JavaScript and I'm also developing apps for the last 2 years. So today I'm going to talk about the advantages in both web development and app development so you can decide what you can go with. First let's start with app development. Even though I started with web development in the beginning of my learning curve, I quickly moved to app development after just started learning web development for like 2 months. The main reason is I feel like nowadays people are using more apps than websites. Like think about it, how often do you use the YouTube's website to watch videos and how often do you use the YouTube app to watch those videos? It's obvious right? I myself use a lot of apps when compared to websites because once apps are installed, it's going to be there in your mobile for all the time unless you uninstalled it. So it leads to more engagement with the users than websites. So that's the reason why I switched to app development and you can see the top softwares in this world right now are mainly apps like WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, you name it. Most of the softwares will be in the form of apps. They just use websites to just like add value to that. And you know app development is pretty new, like web development is there for like more than 30 years but app development is just like 10 year old. So there are like few people who are building apps right now when compared to web developers. So once you learn how to build apps, you will be in those few people who learn how to develop apps. It's worth mentioning that the app development industry is going to grow more and more every day. Because people nowadays are considered their phone as one of their body parts. Like they started using phones when they just wake up, while they are having breakfast, while they are having lunch before going to the bed. So you will get a lot of eyeballs on your app even if you manage to get a small portion of those people who are using phones every single day. It's a very good opportunity for like solo developers or like for a small group of people who are trying to build something. Let's say you are having some very interesting idea and you are trying to build a software on it. So if you are going with web development, there are already 1.3 billion websites out there to compete with you. And in case of apps, there are like only 8 million apps to compete with you. And once you make your users to install your apps, the app is going to be there in the mobile for a long time. Unless the user instantly regret installing your app and just quickly uninstall it. Because nowadays people are fine having the apps which they don't use usually in the mobiles. Like even if your app just adds a small value to the user, they more likely don't uninstall the app. That's a huge advantage when compared with websites. Websites are there just to get a quick information in a short period of time. People are not going to spend hours scrolling through some websites. You got the idea. And to build an app, it's not necessary to have a huge team. Like a few people can build a very good app. Like even WhatsApp was built by just two people in the beginning. And with some brand new programming concept that infused in the app development recently, you can build apps even more efficiently and quicker. And you can also earn money from app development. But I guess it's better to compare how you can earn from web development and app development later in this video. So let's talk about web development. As I said earlier, web development is there for like more than 30 years. Which means there are a lot of people out there building apps. And it also means there are a lot of websites out there which people has to manage. So if you are like a person who want to get a job, because there are a lot of job opportunities out there in web development when compared with app development. So all you have to do is you just have to learn how to build websites and the companies are ready to hire you and pay you to build their websites and to manage them. And one great advantage for the web developers is like they don't have to think much about the performance of their websites because most of them are handled in their browsers and websites are most used in computers. So they don't have to think much about the performance but in case of app development, everything needs to be handled by you. Like let's say you are building some music player app and while playing the music, let's say you are getting some call. So it's your responsibility to pause the music to get the call and make the user to hear the call clearly. If you didn't handle that, the music will be playing in the background and once the user attended the call, both the audios will be mixed together and it will be a monstrosity. Like you have to handle all the little things in your apps. Uh, I'm not going very deep in that but that's how it works. And adding to that, apps might perform differently for the different versions of the operating system. Like let's say we're building an app for Android, it might work good in the Android versions which are about 10 but it might not work in the Android versions which are below 10. So let's talk about how you can earn money from web development and app development. Talking about making money, if you are planning to make money from the business logic, both of them are going to be very much similar. What I mean by business logic is like the plans available in your software, let's say like Netflix, they have premium plans and all those things. Those things are considered to be the business logic from which you can earn money from. 
But there are a lot of other ways to make money from apps and websites. Let's first talk about apps. The very first way that you can earn money from app development is by releasing paid apps. Like in Play Store, you have to pay some amount of money to install some apps. So this can be a very good revenue stream for a company or a solo developer. But this can happen like only once when the user is installing the app. So the second way you can earn money from app development is by placing ads. You can release some free apps and you can place ads in it so people are just going to watch some ads to use your app. This can be also done in web development but comparing to web development, the ad revenue from app development tends to be more because people often use apps more when compared with web. So you get more impressions on the ads in your apps and compared with websites. And speaking about web development, as far as I understand, like placing ads is the only way except the business logic to get revenue from the websites. So in my opinion, if you are trying to build your own idea or if you are working with a small group or you are a solo developer, try to go with app development for first because you can build your ideas very quick and efficiently even if you are a small group of people or an individual person. And on the other hand, if you want to get a corporate job that pays you very well, go with app development. I personally felt app development is my thing so I decided to go with app development. And now you might get some questions like how to start with app development, like how app development works. So that's why you should watch this video to understand how you can learn app development all by yourself by just using the internet. So that's going to be it for this video. Take care.